Walk with History today is from John Wayne's birthplace and museum in Winterset, Iowa. Some words can give you a feeling that make your heart warm. Republic is one of those words. Earl, you and your brother stand clear. I got no interest in you today. Stand clear and you won't get hurt. Tell the truth, Mr. McClinic. We weren't doing nothing. Well, that's not important right now. James? Good morning, Daddy. It's been some time since I've seen you. Ten years, I think. When I quit, quit. Go on back to the bottle. Get drunk. One thing, though. Somebody throws a dollar in a spittoon. Don't expect me to do something about it. Just get down on your knees and go after it. That's my stake, Dallas. But you heard him, dude. Pick it up. I said you, Liberty. You know me, I've worked in some museums. Uh, I have a master's degree of American history. I'm a veteran, former Navy pilot, but I am a huge John Wayne fan. But we're here today in his birthplace of Winterset, Iowa. He was born here, he lived here as a child. There's a museum dedicated to him and we're gonna go inside. So this is, John Wayne was born here, May 26, 1907. He dies June 11th, 1979. And he talks about him getting into movies. A student at USC in 1920, he was a football player, hurt his knee. His big break came when he was cast as the lead in The Big Trail, an epic western about a wagon train to Oregon. And even though it wasn't a box office success, he persevered. He became a popular B Western actor in the 30s, and then a superstar in the 40s and 50s, and by the end of the 60s, um, he's an Academy Award winner for True Grit. But look, this is his outfit he wore in uh, his cavalry blouse and britches, so what he wore, and she wore a yellow ribbon, he plays a cavalry officer. Kind of think of it as a trilogy, John Wayne, directed by John Ford. She wore yellow ribbon, Ford Apache, and uh, Rio Grande. But here's his contract, and then there's his signature. But here's his hat and coat from Rio Bravo and his bib shirt from The Searchers. Oh my gosh. If you know me, you know The Searchers is like my favorite John Wayne movie. And those are pants from Hondo. Barbara Streisand presenting him the award for True Grit. This is the shirt from The Man Who Shot Liberty Valance. I love that movie. Here's the coat and shirt from True Grit and the program from the Oscars here. When John Wayne won Best Actor for True Grit. And there's the eye patch for True Grit. And there's a ticket for True Grit. <laughs> and this is the shotgun from McClintock, remember? But you see this entire room has memorabilia and posters to John Wayne. 
It's just really remarkable and amazing. If you get a chance to visit, please do. There's the saddle from the Cowboys. My son loves that movie. Here's the shirt and vest from Big Jake. And here's the shirt and vest from The Shootist. And that's the cowboy hat. Oh, I won't be late to hand them. I don't do these things to other people. Must be motion activated. A shirt from Train Murder. His first, his first success is Stagecoach. So look, his big break is 1930. His big success is 1939. And then he gets a star on the Walk of Fame. The Searchers, I believe it's his best performance. This is like many critics believe that I think is his best performance. Diagnosed with lung cancer. Sons of Katie Elders, where he does his own stunts right after he has one part of his lung removed, he gets very sick. He does True Grit. Remember, he jumps the fence with the horse. He wins the Oscar for True Grit from Barbara Streisand. And then he dies in 1979 of stomach cancer. And he makes The Shootist in 1976 with Jimmy Stewart. And they're together in The Man Who Shot Liberty Valance, if you remember as well. And he actually goes to the Academy Awards that year. He did a lot of military movies. He never served in the military. It was one of his biggest regrets. He wanted to, um, but he did a lot of like USO tours and always respected people who served in the military. And he depicts people who served in the military in a very honorable way. She was here with uh, Aisa, his, his daughter, to break ground with the shovel. And uh, don't forget, we visit Maureen O'Hara's grave in Arlington National Cemetery. And there's them two together. So neat. And that's the blouse she wore, honoring John Wayne at a dinner here in Winter. Here's him putting his uh, boots into the Hollywood Walk of Fame at Grauman's Chinese Theater. And the cement is mixed with actual sand from Iwo Jima. How cool is that? People feel like John Wayne encompasses the American spirit and this courage to settle your own disputes and make your own way in the world and fight for what's right. 